Chapter 41 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 41, There's Still a Black Hand Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation Dong Chao's face was deathly pale. The feeling of his vitality slowly draining away had already taken over his nerves. He did not have the strength to respond to any of He Chuan's words. He could only stare at him with eyes filled with hatred as if he was thinking of some vicious curse in his heart. But very soon, a deep sense of exhaustion assaulted him, making him unable to help but want to close his eyes. He Chuan sneered and crushed Dong Chao's legs with one foot. Ah! Dong Chao howled like a pig being slaughtered. The intense pain stimulated his nerves and made him extremely clear. Headed. You, you will definitely not have a good ending, someone, will, avenge, me, he used the last of his strength to say these words. He Chuan laughed. Killing won't solve the problem, nor will it end the hatred. However, it will relieve my anger. You want to kill me, right? Unfortunately, you won't be able to wait for this day. After saying that, he turned his head and no longer paid any attention to this person who was about to die. After so many years. The hundreds of lives in Grass Temple Village. The abbot who had raised him for so many years. And those pitiful women who had been sold. The anger that had been suppressed in the bottom of his heart for so long was finally released today. A few beautiful women beside him saw him turn around and retreated in fear. They hugged each other and hid in a corner. He Chuan put on a forced smile, don't worry, I won't hurt you. Quickly leave this place. They did not respond. There was only panic and helplessness in their eyes. He Chuan hesitated for a moment, but in the end, he did not care about whether these people would stay or go. People had to make their own choices. They could not just rely on others. Then, he began to search Dong Chao's mansion. Not long after, he found a few cabinets full of martial arts books in a secret room. They seemed to be very high dot level cultivation techniques and were very useful for reference. He Chuan took them all. Apart from that, he actually found some top dot secret letters here. There was no signature and no date. He Chuan opened them all and was greatly shocked. There was actually someone hidden even deeper behind this human trafficking chain. No wonder Dong Chao said that someone would take revenge for him. So that's how it is, without saying anything else, he started to use the deduction system to analyze the contents of these letters in an attempt to find the target's identity. There were not many people who could talk to an official at the level of the cabinet minister, so it was not difficult to screen them. Not long after, a candidate was identified. The highly favored head eunuch of the Imperial Scripture Pavilion, Kong Lishin. A eunuch, what is the purpose of trafficking people? To befriend powerful people. This doesn't make sense. He Chuan was puzzled. If the Prime Minister of the Cabinet did such a thing, it would be fine. He would use those poor women to befriend powerful officials and control all the officials in the world. After that, he would wait for an opportunity to rebel. He would become the emperor himself. However, eunuchs could not participate in court politics. Even if they forcefully overthrew the regime and took the throne, they would not be recognized by anyone. Before long, they would be removed from power. After all, how could there be a future for those who could not have offspring? Even the deduction system could not find the answer to this question. There was too little information, so there was no way to reason. Forget it, let's study these techniques first. He Chuan temporarily stopped thinking about this question. At the same time, there was a clamor outside. It seemed that the news of Dong Chao's death had spread out. He was not in a hurry to leave, so he might as well directly carry out the deduction in this secret room. Now that he had cultivated the tyrannical true cultivation manual to perfection, his strength had definitely surpassed the level of a first-rate martial artist. However, this did not mean that tyrannical true cultivation manual was an all-rounded cultivation technique. 
when he had first deduced the tyrannical true cultivation manual, upper, he had not obtained many top-tier cultivation techniques. In the end, he had only fused the two types of cultivation techniques of kung fu and knife techniques. There was still a lot of room for improvement. There were a lot of books in the senior grand secretary's residence. And they were all of the high quality. Among them, there were probably the martial arts practiced by the third most powerful man in the world, the Scar.Man cultivation technique. Although this person was insta.killed by him in one move, he still had the qualifications to learn from him. I see, after a long time, He Chuan slowly opened his eyes. He used a few days to complete the deduction of all the books in this place. He absorbed all the martial arts knowledge that could be used and fused them into tyrannical true cultivation manual. The results were remarkable. Among these martial arts, there was actually a very rare inner strength cultivation method. It specifically taught people how to control inner qi. This was a very rare thing. There were not many low dot level ones in the world, let alone such a top dot level cultivation method. After absorbing it, He Chuan had a deeper understanding of the control of his own inner qi. It was not an exaggeration to say that. He could now use the same amount of inner qi and produce an effect that was more than twice as strong as before. This was a little abnormal. The internal cultivations martial artists fought with the amount of inner qi in the first place. Now that he had such an ability, it was simply not giving anyone a way out. However, he was already powerful enough. There was not much difference between being a little stronger and being a few times stronger. After all, there was no opponent. It's time to investigate that head eunuch, He Chuan put on the hood on his back and left the secret room. Only then did he realize that the capital city had already been sealed. Dong Chao and the Scar.Man's bodies had long been cleaned up. The servants in the mansion and those beautiful women had disappeared without a trace. He did not know what the situation in the outside world was like these two days. What was the situation with the rebel army? He had to find a way to find out. He found the right direction and flew up the wall of the courtyard. His body disappeared into the darkness and he ran towards the biggest tavern in the city. Chapter 42 You are listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 42, Let the Number One in the World Come Find Me Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation The capital city was located in the north of the dynasty. The war was in the south, and news could not reach them for a while. However, the news of the senior grand secretary's tragic death spread throughout the entire capital city. This was news that shook the entire dynasty. Everyone was shocked. Who would have thought that under the protection of the third dot ranked expert on the martial arts rankings, someone would be able to kill them all? In the past, no one had. And it was impossible. But now, there was a Night Slayer who could suppress 300,000 Northern Army Corps. Only he could do such a shocking thing. For a time, the high officials and socialites in the capital felt uneasy. They no longer felt that the number one city in the world was a safe place. They were all worried that the next target of Night Slayer would be them. In a short period of time, the number of security guards inside and outside the palace had increased by dozens of times. Not even a fly could fly in. Looks like there isn't any valuable information in the tavern. He Chuan put on his hood and left the place silently. Since there was no news from the resistance army, he would take advantage of this opportunity to directly destroy the palace in one go. Thus, early the next morning, under the watchful eyes of countless guards, a beautiful figure streaked across the bright sun-lit sky. Without any hesitation or concealment, he charged straight into the scripture pavilion. No one could stop him. Because this person's Qingong skill had reached a level that ordinary people could not reach. F asterisk CK. They couldn't even shoot a bow. Who could stop him? At this moment, outside the Imperial Scripture Pavilion, an old man over the age of 70 was standing at the top of the hundreds of white jade stairs with his hands behind his back, 
watching the figure rushing over from afar. Friend, isn't it a little impolite to come uninvited? His voice was sharp and thin, without a beard. His hands were even holding up making an orchid finger shape, making him appear extremely feminine. He Chuan floated down, and his gaze was calm, you are the head eunuch, Kong Le Xin. That's right, it's me. You have something to do with human trafficking be no calm, young master, you must be joking. Kong Le Xin had a faint smile on his face, although I am crippled, I have trained in martial arts. With this ability, I have become the second best in the world. Why do I need to do such a dirty thing and ruin our reputation? All right, then take it that I've made a mistake. He Chuan also laughed, from your tone, you sound very powerful. All the top-notch martial arts in the world are in the palace's scripture pavilion. Those left in the public are just ordinary martial arts. Kong Le Xin's gaze was sharp, I have trained for 50 years and trained in all the martial arts in the world. Even though I am not fighting for the first place, I am still the second best in the world, as he said that, he paused for a moment and then said in a more serious tone, it has never changed. Oh, that's quite impressive. He Chuan casually said that, but he was thinking about something else. He originally thought that he would need to spend a lot of time searching all the martial arts in the world to perfect the tyrannical true cultivation manual. He did not expect that there would be such a good thing in the palace. Just nice, all of them could be packed up and taken away. In the end, the imperial guards arrived. They were the imperial guards that guarded the imperial city. Among all the legions, they were the most powerful existences with average strength. Those that could be selected were all second-rate warriors that were one in a hundred. Facing the enemy in formation. Even if a first-rate late-stage warrior were to come, they would probably die here. He Chuan only glanced at them and did not have any intention of paying any attention to them. He walked straight into the scripture pavilion. He wanted to read. But how could the royal guards allow him to act so rashly? Without saying a word, they swarmed forward. However, before He Chuan could make a move, Kong Le Xin waved his hand and stopped everyone. Then, he looked at He Chuan and said very domineeringly, Fight with me, if you win, I'll let you in. I don't want to fight now. Then how about I let you have a move? Are you sure? Cut the crap. All right then. As soon as he finished speaking, a blade flashed. Everyone turned to look at He Chuan. But no one could see whether he had used his blade or not. Kong Le Xin was also a little surprised. Night Slayer had used his move. But where did he slash at? He was about to say something. Suddenly, an inaudible sound rang out. Asterisk content warning. Mentioned blood, asterisk it was as if something had been torn apart. The next moment, his expression changed drastically. He raised both of his hands to cover his neck. There was already a thin slit there. Then, it burst open. Blood gushed out uncontrollably. In an instant, it soaked his clothes. And, ugh, Kong Le Xin looked at He Chuan in surprise, but his body could not help but kneel on the ground. Then, he fell forward and rolled down hundreds of steps. Dark red blood flowed all over the ground. The royal guards looked at this scene in disbelief. When Kong Le Xin's bloody body fell in front of them, a few people reacted and quickly went forward to check. Dead, dead, everyone was in an uproar. The world's second-ranked martial artist could not even withstand one move from Night Slayer. What kind of joke was this? Was this something that a human could do? Say, you're already so old, why are you acting all high and mighty all of a sudden? I thought you were so powerful, but you couldn't even react to 30% of my strength, sigh. He Chuan shook his head with a regretful expression. He turned around and continued to walk into the scripture pavilion, leaving behind a sentence. If you don't want to die, then let the number one martial artist in the world come to find me. The royal guards stared at each other, none of them acting rashly. 
They just watched as Night Slayer swaggered into the most mysterious other than the Emperor's bedroom in the Imperial Palace, Imperial Scripture Pavilion. Someone in the Royal Guards was afraid of being blamed and punished, so he asked in a low voice. General, what should we do? The person who looked like a general at the front hesitated for a long time before saying, keep the corpse of the head eunuch and guard here. What about the Night Slayer? Are we not going to care? Care. What are we going to care about? Damn it, didn't you see that the head eunuch was killed with one move? What's the use of US going? But if His Majesty blames us, then send someone to inform His Majesty and ask him to make a decision, yes, sir. Chapter 43 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 43 The Emperor The Real Culprit Behind the Scenes Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation in the Imperial Palace's Scripture Pavilion He Chuan was already immersed in a sea of books, unable to extricate himself. As expected of the Emperor's collection of books, the quality was indeed extraordinary. Those outsides couldn't be compared at all. In only a few minutes of deduction, the tyrannical True Cultivation Manual had once again improved quite a bit. He Chuan's eyes lit up. His motivation to read books increased again. As the knowledge of top-tier martial arts was absorbed by him. The tyrannical true cultivation manual covered more and more aspects, and the content became more and more complex. Not only did the revision of the tyrannical true cultivation manual, upper, gain a lot of content, but even the other two books, middle, and lower, were also adjusted a lot. He Chuan could not help but lament that there was no end to learning. A person's insight and thinking always had limitations. The reason why many low-dot-level cultivation manuals could not be cultivated to a very high realm was that they could not figure out how to proceed in the future. In other words, it was a bottleneck. After integrating the strengths of hundreds of knowledge, he was surprised to find that martial arts actually had the same goal. Whether it was internal martial artists or external martial artists, the cultivation realm they had to reach was the same level. It was just that they used different methods. After summarizing so much experience, He Chuan felt that he had also entered a bottleneck. If a first-rate martial artist or below was classified as a Ho Tian stage martial artist, then he would belong to the Xian Tian stage martial artist and be one level above everyone else. However, if he wanted to go further, it was far from enough to just rely on absorbing the knowledge from their martial arts. After all, they were no longer on the same level of cultivation. No matter how many Ho Tian stage cultivation manuals he Chuan read, the only thing he could increase was his knowledge. There was no increase in his level of strength at all. At this time, he had to break through on his own. For example, he had to develop a version like, Tyrannical True Cultivation Manual, Ultimate. Only then could he continue to cultivate and step into a higher realm. But this was too difficult. Even if he had the deduction system to help correct his mistakes, he didn't have much confidence. I should read the book first, I'll think about this in the future, He Chuan shook his head. The most important thing at the moment was still the matter of subverting the dynasty. Only after this matter was done would the final evaluation point for this reincarnation not be low. At this moment, outside the scripture pavilion, the royal guards had already sent many more people to surround him. This group of people was still on alert. They pointed their swords at the scripture pavilion, but no one dared to take a step up. Time slowly passed. When the sky was filled with stars, the door of the scripture pavilion finally opened. He Chuan appeared at the door with a smile on his face, taking a deep breath of the fresh air outside. Everyone looked as if they were facing a great enemy, nervously holding their weapons. The emperor has arrived. The shrill cries of eunuchs came from behind the crowd. The royal guards hurriedly made way. However, there was no so dot called emperor in that direction, only a few eunuchs kneeling on the ground. Just as they were wondering, Night Slayer's voice suddenly sounded outside the scripture pavilion. You are the number one in the world. Everyone looked up. 
An old man in a dragon robe had his back facing them. He stood outside the door of the scripture pavilion and looked at Night Slayer. Everyone was shocked and quickly knelt down and shouted. Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor! Long live the Emperor! The old man did not say a word. He just casually waved his sleeves and a strong wind blew over, lifting everyone up. This move stunned everyone. As expected of the Emperor. Just based on his meticulous control of inner strength, he has probably far surpassed the standard of an ordinary first-rate cultivator, right? The Emperor's cultivation has improved again after coming out of seclusion this time. Previously, he was an outstanding first-rate upper-class warrior. Could it be that he has already reached the legendary stage where man and nature unite? Ha ha ha, the Emperor has personally made a move. This Night Slayer will definitely die here. Humph, treacherous officials and traitors, still dare to rebel. They really don't know the immensity of heaven and earth. The appearance of the old man gave all the royal guards a shot of reassurance. He Chuan also narrowed his eyes slightly. They had to treat him seriously. This person was at least ten times stronger than Kong Lushin. Who would have thought that the number one in the world was actually the emperor of the dynasty? Really? Ha! Huh. Wait a minute. The results of the deduction system about the secret letters found in Dong Chao's secret room showed that there was a high probability that Kong Lushin was behind the human trafficking. But today, when he asked, the other party denied it. Although that person was a eunuch, as the number two in the world, he had his own pride and would not lie to him. Moreover, he also used the deduction system to analyze Kong Lushin's attitude and tone and confirmed that what he said was true. If that was the case, there was indeed someone else involved in human trafficking. However, wouldn't that prove that the deduction was wrong? However, how could the deduction system be wrong? What if it was said that the letter was sent to Dong Chao by Kong Lushin's emperor? He did not dare to read the contents of the secret letter. Of course, he did not know the cause and effect. Naturally, he would deny it. He Chuan felt that he had solved the mystery. He looked at the old man sharply. There was only one truth to this matter. You are the one who orders the human trafficking, right? Oh. The old man did not expect He Chuan to say such a thing. After a slight shock, he turned and smiled, so what if I am? So what if I am not? Aren't you here to kill the top warriors of the dynasty and subvert the imperial power? This is not as important as the truth that I want to know. He Chuan stared at him. The truth. The old man laughed and walked to the edge of the stairs. He looked down at the tens of thousands of royal guards with their hands behind their backs. He looked at everyone and asked with his inner chi spreading out, generals and soldiers, what have I done in my 234 years on the throne? Tens of thousands of people answered in unison. Fighting one against a hundred. Killing the national thieves. Saving the country and in danger. What have I done? Breaking the evil cultivator's palace. Saving the people of the world. What have I done? Breaking the southern D. Killing the western Rome. Destroying the eastern barbarians. Retreating the northern barbarians. Unifying the world. The old man revealed a satisfied smile. He turned his head and looked at He Chuan. Is such a feat still important to the truth you want? Chapter 44 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 44, The Truth Was Revealed Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation Asterisk Content Warning Mentioned Blood, Human Trafficking, Asterisk, What Do You Want to Say? He Chuan's expression was calm. The smile on the old man's face disappeared and he became expressionless. I have cultivated the most sacred secret technique to extend my life. It has been more than 200 years now and I have saved countless people. Now, whether it is a merit or a fault, whether it is right or wrong, it is not up to you, a little child, to question me. 
putting on airs. He Chuan waved his saber, since when did seniority speak for itself in the world of martial artists? Be straightforward. Were you the one who did it? If you don't say it, then let's fight. Young man, you are indeed a little too arrogant. The old man shook his head and sighed softly, I am well aware that the path of martial arts is full of hardships. Seeing that you have such a cultivation at such a young age, I don't want you to lose your life in vain, what a pity. As he spoke, his gaze suddenly became unusually fierce, you must be overestimating yourself. Looks like it really is you. He Chuan frowned, you are already the ruler of a country. Why would you do such a thing and harm your own people? These questions will be left for you to ask after you go to hell. The old man no longer said anything and suddenly attacked. He struck out with his palm, and surging inner chi swept over. You channeled your chi to resist, but you were possessed by the young flames contained within and were severely injured. So there was a trick within. He Chuan's aura became heavier. He stepped on the ground with one foot and leaped up with the force of the recoil, landing on the roof of the scripture pavilion. BVEC the old man's speed was not slow either. In the next second, he landed on his back and struck out with his palm again. However, He Chuan was already prepared this time. After dodging sideways, he immediately returned the blow. At first, the old man did not mind. He casually wanted to use the inner chi at his fingertip to deflect the blade. As a result, instead, half of his palm was cut off by the terrifying inner chi attached to it. Ah! He cried out in pain. He already had the intention to kill. At that moment, he no longer held back and used all his strength to attack. However, He Chuan's strength was far beyond the old man's expectations. This young martial artist, who was only in his twenties, actually possessed an inner chi strength that was not inferior to his. What was even more terrifying was that his physical fitness was shockingly strong. He did not look like an inner cultivator at all, and his reaction speed was also faster than an ordinary person's. After several rounds of confrontation, not only did he not get any benefits, he even fell into a disadvantageous position. Could it be that after more than 200 years of cultivation, he was going to fall at the hands of such a little child today? The old man roared angrily. His eyes suddenly glowed red, as if he had gone berserk. His entire aura had increased by quite a bit. However, He Chuan still had a calm expression. Even though this was the only opponent he had encountered since he came to this world that was worthy of being taken seriously, under the situation where the deduction system was fully activated, the pressure was still not very great. Unfortunately, he was unable to defeat this old man in a short period of time. Hence, on the summit of the Forbidden City, it was a life and death duel between top martial artists. This battle lasted for three days and three nights before the victor was determined. Half of the imperial palace was destroyed in an instant. Amidst the ruins, He Chuan was covered in injuries as he stepped on the dying emperor's chest. He clenched his fists and looked at the old man's almost withered face. In the end, he did not attack again. Why do you do human trafficking? Do you know how many families you have destroyed? He he, the old man laughed hoarsely, 150 years ago, this emperor's heart was exhausted. After the imperial physician checked my pulse, he said that my foundation had been damaged due to overwork and I would not live more than two years. This emperor has worked for the country and the people for more than a hundred years. I created such a great career, but in the end, I ended up exhausted to death. If it were you, would you be willing? He Chuan was silent, so. What does this have to do with you selling human beings? The old man did not speak. The light in his eyes gradually dimmed, as if he was going to die at any moment. He Chuan quickly saved him. He took out a bottle of medicinal powder and fed it to the old man. The old man was in a trance. I didn't expect you to have such medical skills. Forget it, since I'm about to die. I'll tell you this secret. 
When I killed the evil cultivator Soul Hall, I accidentally obtained a peerless secret manual. The cultivation method described in it is very marvelous. Not only can it prolong one's life, but it can also break through the first tier and step into the innate realm, stepping into the realm of heaven and man as one. However, there is a drawback that cannot be replaced. One must drink the blood of young boys and girls regularly to maintain one's cultivation. Otherwise, one's cultivation will disperse and they will die. In order to survive and see this dynasty continue for thousands of years, this emperor had no other choice, He Chuan shuddered when he heard this. So, you established such a human traffic chain. Not only can it maintain the relationship between the courtiers and you, but it can also capture the children of those young women who were born by accident and let you drink their blood to practice your cultivation. The old man nodded slowly, that's right. He Chuan's eyes were filled with fury, what a good plan. The courtiers won't betray you, and you won't be stabbed in the spine by the common people if you hide in the dark. They only think that bandits are vicious, profligate, and despicable and that the officials are corrupt. Who would have thought that all of this was done by a high and mighty emperor like you? This is not the result that I want. The old man sighed softly, originally, what I wanted was for the group of officials under me to continue serving the country and the people, to regularly clean up the bandits and profligate families in the region. After those women were captured for a few years, they would look for an opportunity to be found by the government and put back to stabilize the overall situation, but I didn't expect. Sigh. But I didn't expect that those people were so corrupt that they would do anything for money. He Chuan sneered, you think you have control over people's hearts, it's really, really, he raised the saber in his hand. It went straight into the other party's brain. It's really not enough to die. He Chuan suddenly felt that his bottle of medicine was really wasted. In order to survive, he was willing to sacrifice the lives of others. It was something that happened for more than a hundred years. God knows how many people died during this period. It was probably an astronomical figure. He shook his head. There was nothing to be nostalgic about, so he left the palace. Not long after, explosive news came from the palace. It shocked the entire capital. The emperor had passed away. Chapter 45 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 45 The Three Legions Submit Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation This year, He Chuan was 18 years old. He had overthrown the dynasty that ruled this era. There was no need for any propaganda. Night Slayer's fame had reached its peak in a very short period of time. Legends about him circulated among the people. It was said that Night Slayer was the son of heaven and knew immortal spells, shouldering the heavy responsibility of saving the people of the world. In any case, he had to be as great as possible. And the outcome of the battle in the capital also gave many ambitious people a chance. Now, the top few experts on the dynasty's martial artist list had died in Night Slayer's hands. Their internal strength was dispersed, and they were already paper tigers that were strong on the outside but weak on the inside. For a time, the flames of war rose everywhere, and the flags of the resistance army were raised in many areas. In the name of saving the people of the world, they launched an attack on the local imperial court army. In reality, they just wanted a share of the pie during this period of imperial decline. Unfortunately, Things did not go as planned. He Chuan, as the first person in the world to stand up against the imperial court and single dot handedly massacred the imperial capital, was already the target of everyone's expectations. The common people only recognized one leader of the resistance army, Night Slayer. They ignored everyone else. And those ambitious people had no choice. They had originally used the name of the resistance army to stir up trouble. If they provoked this group of common people and made a big deal out of it, they might even be targeted by Night Slayer. At that time, the gains would not make up for the losses. No one wanted to provoke a terrifying expert who could slaughter warriors. 
In the end, what this group of ambitious people did was actually do all the toil for He Chuan to reap all the benefits. They helped him clean up the local imperial court troops. A month after the Great War in the imperial capital, the various parts of the dynasty had already declared their recovery and were no longer under the imperial court's control. The only areas where the imperial court troops were still active were the areas outside Qingyuan County. There were a million border troops gathered there. All of them were first-class elites. None of the ambitious people dared to fight this group of regular troops. Only He Chuan's resistance army spread out their formation here. Using the terrain that was easy to defend but hard to attack, they continued to fight. Even so, they still lost over 200,000 soldiers. The resistance army was greatly weakened and ran out of ammunition and food. If there were no more variables, the remaining 200,000 of them would probably die on this battlefield. Just as the imperial court army was about to take down the resistance army in one go. He Chuan had returned. Everyone stop. He stood at the top of the canyon and looked down at the battlefield. He said calmly, there is no point in fighting anymore. The leaders of the east, west, and south divisions shouted and attacked at the same time. Traitor, hand over your life. Take my mountain. Shaking fist. What's the point? The clash of weapons is what's the point? These three people were all first. Rate martial artists. If placed in the pugilistic world, they would all be top. Notch experts. In the end, they were all pushed back by He Chuan's palm across space. I don't want to kill anymore. The emperor is already dead. You all have no reason to continue fighting. How could these generals believe it? Humph, the emperor is the number one martial artist in the world. You brat, you are still wet behind the ears. How dare you talk nonsense here? Night Slayer. Don't think that you can do whatever you want just because you have a few tricks up your sleeve. Let me tell you, if we work together, even if a heaven man unity realm martial artist comes, we can still kill him here. You hid your head for so long and only dared to show your face. Don't even think about leaving today. If you don't believe me, you can go and verify it yourself. He Chuan was expressionless, soldiers, retreat. The resistance army did not hesitate to retreat from the battlefield. They did not have any lingering feelings. The imperial court army still wanted to give chase, but He Chuan immediately stepped into the air and slashed horizontally with his Buddhist monk knife. A terrifying might emerged from the knife. Rumble. The earth trembled, and the sky collapsed and the earth cracked. Everyone did not know what had happened, and they hurriedly dodged the huge rocks that had fallen from above. When everything was settled, they shockingly discovered that a deep ravine had appeared in the ravine from above. It cut off their path. Everyone was stunned. This was caused by Night Slayer. Are you kidding? Are you sure this was done by a human? These people had not seen He Chuan's power, so they could not react for a long time. He Chuan had already left and returned to Qingyuan County to recuperate. A few days later, the imperial court military sent out a few waves of flying pigeons and sent them to the capital to confirm if what He Chuan said was true. However, the imperial court was in chaos. The factions were killing each other and fighting for the right to inherit the throne. They did not have the time to care about this. It was only a few months later when the external resistance army grew stronger and stronger and threatened the position of this group of people that they finally stopped. After a few joint discussions, the leaders decided to temporarily ally, put down their conflicts, and work together to resolve the external problems. The first thing they wanted to do was to take back the three armies of the east, west, and south to defend the imperial capital. Thus, they sent people to reply. A few days later, the leaders of the armies who had been waiting for a long time finally received an answer. They picked up the letter and looked at it. The emperor had indeed passed away. Moreover, he had died at the hands of Night Slayer. They were immediately stunned. 
no wonder they had not seen the shadow of Night Slayer after dozens of battles. It turned out that he had gone to the capital stealthily. Looking at the contents of the letter, the three generals cursed loudly. Defend the imperial capital. Wasn't that courting death? Those who could become the commander. In. Chief were naturally not stupid. BL.net they knew clearly what these people were planning. They were just borrowing their military power to protect themselves. When the time came, they would be the ones risking their lives, and they would be the ones enjoying the glory and wealth. Who knows, they might even lose their military power and put on a show of dying on the streets that night. They were not going. They were determined not to go back. If they went back, they would have to fight with the resistance army. Fight like a chicken. Didn't you see that the commander was as fierce as a knife? Now the prime minister of the cabinet was gone. So was the head of the imperial administration. Even the F asterisk asterisk king king emperor was gone. The situation was over, so what was there to fight about? It was better to surrender. Go back to your hometown and live a few years of peace. Thus, they directly ignored the requests of those people in the capital when they had reached a consensus. That night, the generals went to Qingyuan County to surrender. The next morning. When the soldiers saw that the generals were gone and the captain had run off, they all panicked. When they learned that they had surrendered to the resistance army, they did not care that they were still wearing the clothes of the imperial court army. They directly stopped. Sigh, I'm not fighting anymore. I surrender too. The scene of millions of people surrendering was truly spectacular. Such an outcome was something even He Chuan had not expected. He originally thought that taking back the territory and army would be a time-consuming matter, but he did not expect it to be so simple. With that, expanding the territory became a matter of course. Very quickly, the resistance army regained back the Qingyuan county and started to expand rapidly. Within a few days, they had regained the territory they had before being surrounded by the three armies. Furthermore, their territory was still growing. When many people heard that Night Slayer had personally reclaimed the territory, they opened the city gates to welcome him. They were really happy. The unlucky ones were the ambitious ones. They did not get anything and have worked for nothing. Chapter 46 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 46, Chuan Country To make himself the emperor Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation Under the influence of He Chuan's terrifying rallying power, it was inevitable for the resistance army to overthrow the old dynasty. The officials knew this and a portion of them stopped resisting. They did not care about the others. When millions of strong armies arrived outside the capital, they opened the city gates and welcomed He Chuan into the palace. This time, everyone became obedient. Those who were originally afraid of He Chuan slaughtering the city. Those who wanted to stir up trouble. There were even those who wanted to send people to assassinate him. Made no more movements. This was because on the streets of the city that afternoon, the ministers who wanted to follow He Chuan knelt on the ground and respectfully invited him to take the throne. At the same time, they also handed over the names of these people. For a moment, everyone was anxious. In the end, He Chuan did not make any big movements for a few days. The only thing he did was to make himself the emperor. On the first day he sat on the throne, he changed the country's name to Chuan. After that, he quickly issued a decree, ordering all the soldiers of the resistance army to put down their weapons and stop the crusade to return peace to the people. Even though these people had ulterior motives and did not want to listen to He Chuan's words. However, facing the trend of unifying the world, there was nothing they could do. Their reputation was not as high as his, and their strength was not as strong as his. Even their logic did not stand on par with his, so what was there to fight about? A small portion of the princes who wanted to seize the opportunity to establish themselves as king was also suppressed by He Chuan with iron dot blooded methods, and all of them were assassinated. A year later, the world was peaceful. 
Furthermore, during this period, he issued a number of decrees for the officials of the original dynasty to personally arrange. Among them was the part about improving the people's livelihood and changing the official system. This involved the interests of many people. If this was in the past, it would definitely be very difficult to implement. However, these officials were afraid that He Chuan would pick on them, so they did not dare to give him any obstacles. In the face of absolute power suppression, they worked very hard. In the first month after the decree was issued, there was quite a big response from all over the country. Countless corrupt officials in small places like counties and townships were dismounted one after another, and their properties were even confiscated. The selection of new officials was done through the imperial examination system promulgated by He Chuan. This was a model that had been tried out for a long time in Qingyuan County. Even for the whole country, he was able to adjust it easily. With the help of the deduction system, the best plan was soon born. After a few years, these hardworking officials gradually found that their power had been taken away by He Chuan unknowingly. Now, other than the power they had in the central territory of the imperial capital, they have nothing. They were now facing the biggest problem. That was the birth of the imperial examination system, which directly replaced the old with the capable. Seniority had become unimportant. He Chuan, the monarch, paid more attention to ability. It didn't matter how long you had been in this position, or how many generations you had passed down. As long as you were not smarter, and had no more capability, you'll have to directly step down. Originally, there were still some people who had fantasies. They didn't think it was worth it. But when the imperial decree arrived on their residence, this fantasy was also destroyed. No one thought to resist, only helplessness and compromise. There was no other way. This was a world of martial arts, where martial arts were supreme. To put it bluntly, in front of He Chuan, they were just lambs waiting to be slaughtered. Can lambs resist the tiger? That would only kill them faster. Everyone wanted to preserve a bit of dignity at this time. If He Chuan dug up old debts and investigated how many bad things they had done in the past, the result would be obvious. Thus, in the short period of time after that, the officials in all positions changed. At this point, the old forces were completely wiped out. After the biggest corrupt officials all left their positions, the prosperous and stable Great Chuan Country was finally created. The Great Chuan Country developed at a terrifying speed. Under the leadership of the new ruler, He Chuan, the farmers had their fields, the merchants had their land, the officials had their hearts, and the travelers had their homes. There was peace in the country and happiness for the people, this saying was talking about this kind of scene. Many people felt as if they were dreaming. How could it be that in just a few years' time, the world had changed? Hadn't they been living on the edge of life and death before? Now, everyone had enough to eat, and everyone had money to earn. Without the oppression of the powerful, without the constant fear. The Night Slayer Emperor is truly the emperor of all ages. This was the heartfelt evaluation of the commoners. A wise emperor, a holy lord, there weren't enough words to describe it. Only the words, the emperor of all ages was worthy of the change he brought. Changing the trajectory of the world, obtaining praise from many people, gaining a significantly high reputation, and finally increasing your rating. He Chuan wasn't satisfied with this. If I only lead the dynasty and allowed the people to be rich, the evaluation points wouldn't be that high. He Chuan had learned many examples of reincarnation in the forums and understood that for this world that was based on martial arts, this level was far from enough. He had to bring more influence to martial arts. At this point, a new law had appeared in the Great Chuan country. All citizens who reached the age of seven had to receive martial arts education and train their bodies. In order to make this law more effective, He Chuan had specially developed a set of martial arts that even people with zero foundation could practice. After integrating all the martial arts in the Imperial Palace's scripture pavilion and making some adjustments, he ordered to build new martial arts schools across the country to only teach this one martial art. 
martial arts for all. This was the basic national policy that he had just set. However, such an action did not receive praise but ridicule from countless martial arts aristocratic families. In their opinion, how many of those commoners had the qualifications to practice martial arts? Doing so was a waste of resources. Many people in the martial arts world were laughing at Hichuan. They even wanted to be the leader of the second batch of rebels. After all, most of these people came from rich families and did not gain many benefits from the change of dynasties. Some of their business even shrank because of the lives of other commoners. They did not have a good impression of the current monarch. If they could catch He Chuan making a mistake at this time and rebelling before the political situation was completely stable, they might be able to replace him. However, what they never expected was that. In a short period of time, those ordinary people who did not have talent were able to achieve achievements that shocked everyone. The most outstanding one was a commoner who did not have any martial arts foundation. And he was only an eight-year-old child. After cultivating this cultivation technique for four months, he jumped to become a second-rate warrior. He broke the cultivation records of all martial arts aristocratic family geniuses. Chapter 47 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 47 Saints of Martial Artist. Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor. Dragon Boat Translation Can martial arts talent be inherited or not? No one knew the answer to this question. For many years, people who practiced martial arts argued endlessly about this. On the whole, most people thought that it would be inherited. After all, the reality was there. The one with the highest cultivation in martial arts was the royal family of the country, followed by those martial arts aristocratic families, and finally, those ordinary martial artists who came from commoners. The latter's strength was usually at the third-rate martial artists, even second-rate martial artists rarely appeared. It could be said that in the many years since the establishment of the old dynasty, there had never been a martial artist who truly had outstanding talent among the people. However, this time, He Chuan's policy of allowing all people to practice martial arts had ruthlessly slapped the face of this group of pretentious martial arts aristocratic families. Under this reform, the common people burst out with unimaginable vitality. Almost every day, there were people who broke the previous record of martial arts cultivation speed and became second-rate warriors, or even first-rate warriors. Countless geniuses began to show themselves in the people's eyes. In just ten years, the number of first-rate warriors had surpassed the old dynasty by more than three times. Not only that, some talented warriors had even broken through the first-rate limit. They had successfully stepped into the realm of being one with nature. They came from all over the world. Some were born poor and couldn't even eat in the old dynasty. Some were extremely skinny and looked no different from skin and bones. There were even some who were injured due to the chaos of the war and became permanently disabled. But even so, after cultivating the cultivation technique He Chuan had passed down, they had climbed to a peak that was once unreachable. This gap was like gaining a new life. So much so that He Chuan had accumulated a large number of fanatical supporters over the years. Walking along the streets and alleys, everyone would always talk about He Chuan when they were chatting. If anyone dared to say a bad word about him, they would face the pursuit of countless martial artists. Social status has increased by a large margin, the saints of martial artist achievement has been achieved, the final rating has increased. Upon hearing this notification, he Chuan wasn't surprised. This was because he wasn't hiding anything. It wasn't an exaggeration to say that, from a certain point of view, this cultivation method was even stronger than the tyrannical true cultivation manual. After all, this was a cultivation method that could be used by everyone. Such an existence was already very mysterious. Not to mention, it could also endlessly dig into the other party's potential. As long as the potential was large enough. It was so big that it surpassed He Chuan's physique, which had consumed genetic medicine before. The final achievement was absolutely unimaginable. 
Of course, there was still no way for him to surpass He Chuan. His strongest point was the comprehensiveness of his martial arts. Even if one thoroughly studied one aspect, there was still no way to surpass him. It was not an exaggeration to say that no one knows martial arts better than him. This isn't too good. I haven't even triggered a hidden achievement. If it stays like this, I definitely won't be able to reach S rank. He Chuan felt that there was still room for improvement. His first reincarnation changed the direction of the development of the entire human civilization and laid the foundation for him to obtain an S rank. If nothing unexpected happened, he would need to achieve a similar achievement in this martial arts world. The martial arts in this world were already very mature. It's not realistic to change it. Why don't I try to break through? Hence, after this, He Chuan suggested that all the people in the country give their opinions on how to improve martial arts. Initially, everyone felt that there was no need. After all, it was written by the sage emperor. This martial arts was absolutely perfect. How could they have the ability to improve it? However, under He Chuan's repeated insistence, there were gradually people who made suggestions. To be more precise, it was the part where they hoped that the martial arts could be increased. Among them, the most difficult one was to make one's inner qi externalize, attach it to the elemental energy, and control the lightning and flame. This was already a power that surpassed the world of martial arts. It was extremely difficult to achieve. Perhaps, even if one could achieve it, they wouldn't be able to use it in this world. It was just like genetic medicine. However, this was exactly the effect He Chuan wanted. Only if one couldn't use it would it be useful. Otherwise, how could he get an S rating? Hence, He Chuan took this as his goal and started deducing all the cultivation method resources he currently had in his hands. However, this process was extremely bumpy. As he continued deducing, all sorts of problems appeared. Every time, he would have to spend a large amount of time and energy solving them. Until 140 years later. The scale of the martial arts world was unprecedentedly huge. There were more than 30 billion martial artists, and the number of first-rate experts was as numerous as the hairs on an ox. There were already a total of 40 million people. Martial artists like He Chuan who had stepped into the Xientian realm had also reached the scale of more than 10,000 people. All kinds of sects rose up under the support of the policies, and they were full of vitality. At this time, He Chuan's hair was already white and gray. He did not know what kind of realm he was in. Right now, he could easily release his inner chi hundreds of meters away, and he also had the power to split mountains and rocks. It was a piece of cake for him to walk in the air, and he could even fly around the boundaries of the capital city. This level far surpassed the strongest group of Xientian warriors in the martial arts world. But it was only limited to this. Since ten years ago, he had felt that his cultivation had begun to stagnate, as if he had encountered a bottleneck. The deduction had also reached its end at this time. After so many years of trial and error, he had only reached a useful conclusion. Inner Qi could not be compatible with any elemental power. This meant that the end of martial arts was his current strength. There was no place for him to continue improving. Faced with such an outcome, He Chuan could not help but feel a little lost. Could it be that there was no way for a low-dot-level martial arts world to become a high-dot-level martial world? Could it be that the only thing that determined the strength of the world was a strange energy that filled the air? And no cultivation technique could make up for the difference in the strength of this energy. He did not think so. He felt that there was another way. Moreover, the deduction system gave him a positive answer. There was a certain possibility, but he had not found it. However, time did not allow He Chuan to think about more things. He was already over 170 years old, and he had been lying in bed for a long time. His thick inner chi could not bring any help. His body's functions had already been reduced to the minimum a few months ago, and he could die of old age at any time. 
In this era where the average lifespan was 60 years, the reason he could live until now was because of the gene reagent. He Chuan was unwilling, but he could do nothing about it. He did not practice the evil technique that the emperor of the old dynasty had learned. The end of his life was the final result. But will it end just like that? Wasting more than 100 years of time and getting nothing. Even though he was in the reincarnation world, the 365 days of each year were spent bit by bit. So much effort was wasted just like that. If it was anyone else, they would not feel good. A complicated emotion grew in his heart. BDNV He Chuan was depressed for a long time. One night, a voice suddenly sounded in his mind. Why don't you use the cultivation technique left behind by the emperor to extend your life? This is a reincarnated world anyway, it doesn't matter how many people you kill. You are already the ruler here, who will punish you. Chapter 48 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 48, Shattering the Void Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation This was the voice of the devil, and it was also a thought that had been buried deep in his subconscious for a long time. He Chuan's turbid and dim eyes suddenly lit up, and he looked out the window at the bright moonlight shining in the sea of flowers. Should he kill or not? For the sake of the S rating, and for the sake of improving the martial arts in this world, what was wrong with sacrificing a small number of people in front of the interests of the majority? Once this idea appeared, it grew uncontrollably like seaweed. As long as he made it a little more obscure, no one would find out that those people were secretly selling human beings, and it would not result in a decrease in the final score. But, if he did this, how was he different from the group of people that he hated and hated? He Chuan fell into a deep struggle again, and he was in extreme pain. But at this moment, an inexplicable sense of righteousness welled up in his heart. It was the effect of the valiant heart. To be fearless, he would never doubt himself at any time and create inner demons. He Chuan's gaze gradually became firm. I don't need anyone's help to be able to walk further down the road. So what if my life has come to an end? I'm not dead yet, right? What's there to be afraid of? He Chuan has almost become obsessed like the old emperor. He Chuan let out a long breath. If he did not have a valiant heart, he would have been driven by such thoughts and become an unpardonable evil man. At that time, even if he could come up with a so dot called stronger technique, others who learned it would only end up like him, suffering from qi deviation and falling into endless slaughter. Once the world fell into chaos, the reincarnation score would probably be even lower. He could not think of unorthodox ways. He Chuan regained his confidence and forced himself to lean against the headboard of the bed, continuing to think hard. After deducing for an entire night, he faced the morning sun and took a deep breath. This world is ultimately just a low-dot-level martial world. Under the situation where the energy quality of this world cannot be improved, perhaps I can use the cultivation technique to compress the energy absorbed and treat my body as a world. If that's the case, can I be considered to have the power of a high-dot-level martial arts world? No, the strength of inner qi is constant. Regardless of whether it is compressed or not, the power of the same amount of inner qi will not change after it is released. This is only a disguised increase in the amount of inner qi when I attack. Once I encounter an even stronger power, I will definitely be crushed instantly. Another possibility was rejected by him. He Chuan slowly opened his eyes, and a deep sense of exhaustion welled up within him. Looking at the bright sunlight outside, he sighed lightly. So many methods are useless. Could it be that my deduction direction was wrong from the start? He Chuan frowned tightly. Should he not be entangled in the energy of inner qi? What he wanted was more powerful energy. But it did not have to be inner qi. If he could successfully shatter the void and ascend to a stronger world. Then wouldn't the current cultivation method be useless after losing inner qi? After all, no matter how comprehensive the tyrannical true cultivation manual was, 
it was impossible for it to be so comprehensive that it could operate energy that he had never come into contact with before. If that was the case, the tyrannical true cultivation technique that he had worked so hard to perfect for so many years would be wasted. Even if he were to preserve it through the reincarnation rewards, he would not be able to cultivate it in the next reincarnation world. Thinking up to this point, He Chuan's eyes could not help but light up. He seemed to have a new train of thought. What he needed to do was not to raise the quality of his inner qi. This was unrealistic. The world was so big. How could he raise it by himself? The only thing he could do was to modify the tyrannical true cultivation manual. He could turn it into a cultivation technique that could accommodate any power system as long as it was slightly modified. This could be considered as breaking through the upper limit from another angle. In this way, as long as he successfully modified the cultivation technique and found a way to shatter the void, it would be equivalent to pointing a path to a higher level for the martial arts of this world. Let's do it. He Chuan was full of energy again. But he didn't have much time left. It was unknown how many more days he could live. He could only do his best and try his best to figure it out in the last few days of his life. Hard work pays off. Finally, after four days and four nights, He Chuan successfully modified the tyrannical true cultivation manual and also revised the cultivation method that he had taught everyone in the world. This was thanks to the experience that he had accumulated over the past hundred years. If he had not experienced that period of time, he would not have been able to deduce a nearly perfect plan in such a short period of time. Let's try and see if we can shatter the void. All the energy in He Chuan's body gathered on his fist and he struck out with a loud bang. There was not a particularly big scene, nor was there an expected explosion. There was only an undetectable cracking sound. Then, a large hole suddenly opened in the space in front of him, directly sucking him in. Half a day later, the subordinate who came to deliver lunch found the posthumous edict left on the table. It explained the reason why He Chuan had disappeared. If a martial artist wanted to be reborn, this was a necessary path, and it was also his own choice so that everyone shouldn't be sad for him. Other than that, there was also a method to shatter the void. Any martial artist who felt that they had no way to continue advancing could try it. However, there was a certain amount of danger. It was very likely that they would not be able to find a world to go to. Very quickly, this news spread throughout the world, shocking countless experts. No one had expected that there was actually a higher realm above the innate realm. Shattering the Void For a time, many top-dot-tier warriors whose cultivation had stagnated and their lifespans were about to expire joined forces. After reading the improved version of the cultivation technique that He Chuan had passed down, they shattered the void together. The powerful force tore a huge hole in the space. The space was filled with strange energy. Everyone rushed in without hesitation. In just an instant, the chaotic force scattered them. The warriors who were originally at the peak of cultivation were like a piece of paper in front of this power, being torn apart one after another. Only a few survived the impact and explored in unknown directions. Ten thousand years later, the Great Chuan Country was still standing on this continent. The monarch was elected. Everyone advocated martial arts. Traces of the martial arts from the wise emperor were left in every aspect. Nowadays, shattering the void was no longer a rare thing. And there was no danger. Thousands of years ago, a portion of the first batch of warriors who shattered the void successfully went to a higher dot level world. After they succeeded in their cultivation there, they especially worked together to create an ascension passage, which was used to guide the cultivators who ascended later. A group of young students who had just entered the capital's martial arts academy was being led by their teacher to tour this magnificent ascension building. A towering human dot shaped statue stood outside the door. The teacher stopped not far from the statue and saluted with the highest standards in the martial arts world. Then, he slowly said, this is the legendary emperor of all ages, the martial arts sage emperor. The nameless cultivation method he left behind is still a compulsory martial art for everyone. 
even after shattering the void, it is still the most important martial art. There is no other one like it. Everything we enjoy now is obtained through the laws he set. It can be said that without the martial sage emperor, we would not be where we are today. A beautiful female student raised her hand. Teacher. The book said that the martial artist sage emperor shattered the void. Is it possible that he is still alive now? I believe that he is still alive. Although at that time, he was not as happy as we are now. The shattered void has no coordinates and it is very likely that he will be devoured by the void. The teacher smiled slightly, however, a person as stunning as the martial artist sage emperor is rare in the world. He is an existence that is hard to come by in 10,000 years. Even in other worlds, he is an existence that can turn the tides. This little difficulty will definitely not hinder his progress, let alone a mere 10,000 years of lifespan. Chapter 49 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 49, Reincarnation Calculation Massive Rewards Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation, Reincarnation Completed Calculating reincarnation points in progress, with a flash of light, He Chuan slowly opened his eyes in the reincarnation space. It was over. Reincarnation did not allow him to go to the second world. Thus, after shattering the void, he did not have any time to explore and directly returned to the main world. However, he didn't have any regrets. At the very least, this would be enough to prove that his final deduction was correct. This way, his final rating would definitely rise by another level. Reincarnation Evaluation Completed Personal Achievements Divine Doctor, Lord Qing Tian, Resistance Army Spiritual Leader, Saints of Martial Artist, Shattering the Void. Rating increased significantly, F.A. Reward 1500 Reincarnation Points, Genetic Constitution Retained. Social Contribution. Exterminating Bandits, Rectifying the Local Security, Overthrowing the Corrupt Government of the Old Dynasty, Destroying the Human Trafficking Trade Chain, and leading the people to practice martial arts. Overall rating increased, A.S. Reward 20,000 reincarnation points, self.created item, tyrannical true cultivation manual, full version of heavenly blessing version, basic character reversal. 100%, survived the crisis in the small ruined temple, overthrew the dynasty, and became the ruler of a country. Overall rating. S.S. Additional rewards of reincarnation points received. 70,000 reincarnation points. He Chuan was a little nervous. He had already concluded what he had done. His rating had also reached the same S as the previous reincarnations. He just did not know whether the void shattering would have a positive or negative impact on future generations. If it was negative, his rating might even regress, and that would not be worth it. Hidden Achievement Unlocked Pioneer of the New Era Completely subverting the understanding of the people in the martial arts world, guiding them on a path that they had never walked before, completely changing the direction of the world, making contributions that will last forever, and finally raising the rating by one level. This Reincarnation Evaluation S+. Plus. Additional S plus Rank Reincarnation Evaluation Reward 1. S Rank Energy Infusion 2. Magic Tool, Demonic Buddhist Monk Knife 1. 3. Obtained Random Heavenly Tao, Able to Summon Any Heavenly Tao Rules to Strengthen Oneself, Obtaining Corresponding Benefits. 4. 150,000 Reincarnation Points. S Plus. He Chuan heaved a sigh of relief. It seemed like the cultivation method he deduced did not let down his efforts of over a hundred years. It had brought about a very profound change to the martial world. Following that, he started counting the rewards. Compared to a large number of reincarnation points, the other special rewards were even more precious. First was the physique of a genetic warrior. This allowed him to have a rapid deduction efficiency in the origin world. It was even more realistic than eating spirit grain spirit fruits for a few months. 
the degree of preciousness could be seen. The second was the heavenly Tao blessing version of the tyrannical true cultivation method. He Chuan took a look. Actually, this was to give the tyrannical true cultivation method a buff. In the future, when he cultivated in the origin world, no matter what kind of energy he absorbed and converted into cultivation, he would be able to obtain a large increase in efficiency. As for how high the efficiency was, he would have to experience it personally to know. The other was the S0 plus rank reward. As the name suggested, the energy infusion was a way to quickly become stronger. It was a very straightforward thing. The demonic Buddhist monk knife was a little special. There was no introduction, nor was there any explanation. When he held it in his hand, it was ice.cold. Although the blade was incomplete, its entire body had a strange, dim luster, making one shudder at the sight of it. However, this was a weapon that He Chuan had used for more than a hundred years. He was already used to it, so he did not feel much about it. Furthermore, with the support of the valiant heart, he was not affected by the murderous aura on the blade at all. Lastly, there was the random heavenly Tao. It was somewhat similar to the one dot time talent, heavenly law simulation, that he had obtained from his first reincarnation, but it was much stronger. He would be able to use it when he reincarnated in the future. After he finished counting, He Chuan did not hesitate to use the S rank energy infusion. In the next second, on the reincarnation platform at night, a dazzling light suddenly lit up, drowning He Chuan's figure. He felt that he was bathing in a warm ocean, and every cell in his body had become greedy for it. He quickly absorbed the nutrients from the outside world. Soon, the energy infusion ended, and the light dissipated bit by bit. He Chuan's body had obviously grown a lot stronger, and his skin was even more white and tender, just like a newborn baby. His face, which could only be described as delicate, had now become incomparably handsome. A few girls passing by could not help but stop by the side of the street, glancing at him from time to time. When he turned his head, they shifted their gazes away in panic, pretending to be chatting. He Chuan walked down the reincarnation platform and took a deep breath, feeling the surging power in his body. At this moment, he had about a hundred years of cultivation strength. It was equivalent to the strength of a high dot rank Xientian expert in the previous world of martial arts. It was about 70.8% of his strength when he was at his strongest. As expected of an S rank energy infusion, one had to know that it was very difficult to increase one's strength after the Xientian realm. Even with the deduction system, one had to cultivate for more than 100 years. Moreover, with the convenience of having the identity of an emperor, there were countless heavenly materials and earthly treasures that he could be enjoyed. Now, the energy infusion was done in just a few seconds. Is this a reincarnator? He Chuan muttered to himself and could not help but smile. That's right, this was a reincarnator. A reincarnator that was getting stronger and stronger. At the same time, the results of He Chuan's reincarnation immediately alerted the officials of the Reincarnation Intelligence Gathering Department. When they saw the S plus symbol on the screen, everyone was shocked. What was going on? How long had it been, and yet another S plus rank appeared? When the detailed information was brought up, everyone was numb. He Chuan. It was him again. Didn't this kid just reincarnate for the second time? Why did he get such a high rank again? Was this a joke? Ku Yuan received this news at the first moment, and he was both surprised and happy. This little brother that he had just acknowledged for a few days was indeed a dragon among men. The two consecutive S ratings for his reincarnations, and this time, it was an even rarer S+. With such a result, even the principal of the reincarnated school would probably be shocked when he saw it. Ha ha ha, I have to prepare well and get some good stuff to send over. Ku Yuan immediately ran over to apply for a reward. Faced with such an outstanding reincarnator, the association would not be stingy with resources. It was for this reason that shortly after He Chuan returned home, Ku Yuan came to visit with a lot of things. 
Chapter 50 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 50 Generous Gifts from the Reincarnators Association Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation, Brother Ku, you came quite quickly. The association has been paying close attention to your matters. They'll know anything that happens. Ku Yuan looked very happy, your reincarnation was too powerful this time. You even gained an S+. Plus. Do you know how many big shots have come out in the middle of the night? He Chuan smiled faintly, it can't possibly be that everyone knows, right? Everyone really knows. Ku Yuan pointed at the car outside the villa and pouted, look, those are the resources that they have just discussed after the meeting. They want to give you additional resources. I hope that you will continue to work hard, let's go over to check it out. No need, let's go in and have a chat. He Chuan was a little tired and did not want to move anymore. This reincarnation has made you become much more mature. Ku Yuan looked into his eyes and casually asked, how many years have you experienced? More than a hundred years. It's hard not to grow. He Chuan did not say much and brought him to the living room to sit down. Leaning against the soft and comfortable sofa, he let out a long breath, it's still more comfortable at home. Ku Yuan smiled, you're tired already. Could it be that you encountered an ancient world, where you have to expend a lot of effort to compete with seven or eight princes for the throne? If only it was only playing tricks. Unfortunately, I was in the world of martial arts. I started from scratch and overthrew an entire dynasty. Awesome. Ku Yuan could not help but give him a thumbs up. For a new bee who had just reincarnated for the second time, such a result was extraordinarily difficult. I was just lucky. He Chuan rubbed the space between his eyebrows and said, I'm just afraid that the next world I encounter will be too difficult, and even luck won't work. At that time, I'll just waste a chance to reincarnate. Just nice. This time, I'll help you solve this problem directly. Ku Yuan grinned, the Reincarnators Association has decided to spend a huge amount of money to add a reincarnating protection mechanism for you. In the future, the difficulty of the world you reincarnate in will be raised bit by bit, and it won't be random. He Chuan was slightly surprised, the association has such an ability. To manipulate the reincarnation data. That definitely won't work. It's nothing more than using the temporary talent of, reset the reincarnated world, to change it. This will cost a lot of reincarnation points, right? It's fine, for the sake of your steady growth, spending some money is worth it. This, He Chuan hesitated and did not speak. BL.net The people in the association treated him too well. He had never heard of anyone who could receive such treatment. After being an emperor for so long, he Chuan deeply understood that the world was bustling for benefits, and the world was rushing toward benefits. No one would treat anyone well for no reason. It was all related to benefits. Gifting him things like this was only because he had received a series of S ranks and above evaluations. Did he have great potential? He Chuan doesn't believe it. Ku Yuan seemed to see his concern and said with a smile, of course, there are conditions. In the future, you are not required to meet the standard of S rank every time you reincarnate, but as long as you obtain a physical item related to the heavenly Tao, you have to hand it over to the association, is that okay? Ho Chuan was relieved. So there were special requirements. It was said that only items with an S rank or above evaluation could be produced things with the suffix, heavenly Tao. It went without saying how rare this item was. It could be said that there was a price but there was no market for it. It was not a loss at all to exchange it with resources that could be bought with reincarnation points. It just so happened that he currently had one in his hands. But should he give it to him? If he didn't tell anyone, the other party wouldn't know either. This was equivalent to taking the association's resources for free. After thinking about it carefully, he decided to give it to the other party. After all, he was a little uncomfortable owing someone a favor. It was more practical to treat it as a transaction. 
no one owed anyone anything. Thus, He Chuan directly took out a jade slip from his reincarnation seal. There were six words written on it. Random Heavenly Tao. Brother Ku, take a look. Is this what the association wants? Ku Yuan was stunned for a moment. Then, he took the jade slip seriously and studied it carefully. A few minutes later, he shook his head regretfully. This is not considered a real item. Moreover, it is already bound to you. It cannot be used by you. It was bounded. This was the first time He Chuan had heard of this. Ku Yuan explained, a higher dot level part of the reincarnation rewards will be like this. This is purely because the heavenly Tao of the previous reincarnation world approved of you. That's why they gave you this blessing jade slip. Others won't be able to use it even if they wanted to. I see. He Chuan came to a realization. After thinking for a moment, he took out another item from the seal, what about this? Tyrannical True Cultivation Manual. Ku Yuan read out the words on it. Yes, this is a cultivation technique I created myself. When I was evaluated, it was said to be the Heavenly Blessing version, but I don't know if it counts. Ku Yuan was already numb. Self. Created Cultivation Technique. You're really a great immortal. Many things that even experienced reincarnators couldn't do were done by a new bee like you. If this matter were to spread, who knew how many reincarnators who claimed to be proud of themselves would bang their heads against the wall? Wait a minute. It seemed to be quite profound. Let's try to cultivate. Damn it. Why did he know all these words when they were separated, but he could not understand them when they were combined? Wasn't this a cultivation technique from the lower martial world? How could he not understand it? A few minutes later, Ku Yuan's forehead was covered in sweat. He glanced at He Chuan from time to time, but he did not say what he wanted to ask. No, it was too embarrassing. Would he lose face if he asked a junior? During this time, he had read the first section of the first chapter of the tyrannical true cultivation manual more than ten times. He had even tried to do it many times. But he still could not get to the main point. But if you were to say that it was the problem with this technique, it was actually not the case. He could completely feel the uniqueness of this technique. It was just. He just could not put his finger on it. There was a very strange feeling. Brother Ku, what's wrong? He Chuan looked at him with a strange gaze. Ahem, nothing, Ku Yuan touched his nose and said, it should be able to be counted as one. I'm not too sure either. I'll just make a copy and take it away. He Chuan nodded and suddenly remembered something, he could not help but ask, Brother Ku, you said that the difficulty of my reincarnation in the future will gradually increase because I used a temporary talent to modify it. If I modify it too many times, will it affect my reincarnation score? 